Okay, uh, public comment. If anybody has public comment, please. Yes, ma'am. Would you happen to know, like we're dealing with Lampham and Associates, would you happen to know just offhand what we pay them an hour? It's 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 not by hour. It's by job, if you will, and. I'd have to look at the contract to get the exact number. But when they, when they initially, when we put in for the bid, we paid them $1,200, I shouldn't say the grant. We paid them $1,200 up front to write the grant. And part of the, if they, part of the, if we're awarded the grant, then they get the engineering. But the engineering is already worked into the numbers that go into the grant. So whatever their, say it's $49,000 or so, um, they get paid that. Um, out of the whole, the whole project, so it's you know and they do you know they do a lot of work. They they really do. Um, uh, and, and, uh, you know if we do additional things, obviously then there's additional costs with that. But uh, Lapwood does a good job, and, and, and Scott Bell, I've worked with him now for five years, and, and uh, he's very knowledgeable of a lot of that stuff. And, and it helps to have somebody like that help you write those grants because that's why you, that's how you get them. You know. And, uh, and having that, having a lot of that knowledge, and, and, and working with it, it, believe me, it's enormous working with the DNR. The, the stuff that you got to do to to to, <laughs> to keep that project moving, it's a lot. Just to add, just to add to that, uh, the reason it's a great <coughs> to have somebody like Lampham is the laws are changing all the time, and they know what, what all the laws are. Um, I had called there. I wanted something resurveyed. And I was talking to a gentleman by the name of Larry. Does that sound familiar, Larry? Yeah, yeah. And he told me he wants one hundred ninety-two dollars an hour. And I said, you're kidding, and he says, no. Well, they are an engineering firm, you know, and just like anything, a lot of times if it's by the hour, it's more expensive than it is by the job, you know, so. Uh, but okay. anytime you, hire, you want to hire an engineer, you'll, you'll pay the top dollar. Okay, thank you. Any other public comment? Yeah, I just wanted to uh, let the board know and then the people here that uh, uh, Bargain Depot, over the past three years, have been building up um, our inventory and add in a lot of new sections to our store and that we officially just signed papers we're going to be a true value and uh, we should have a sign in the next couple months and I would encourage did you tell Mandy yes I did okay. and I would encourage the board members to come in and, and walk through uh, we still have some sections that have to get filled in we have a whole paint section and color center we call color match paint and, and uh, it's really nice I invite, nice. the, invite the board members to come in and walk through and, and possibly, you know, we employ people in Mills Township and we've invested a lot here and really haven't gotten much in return. And we're hoping that, the, you know, the township would set up an account there, uh, you know, when you guys need things, as well, along with Red Diner, you know, along with diners. And the price of gas going to West Branch. Right. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to know that. Uh, we've increased our items from, uh, we had about 1,000 items three years ago, and now we have uh, approximately 12,000 items in our store. Wow. So, what are your hours over there, Shane? Uh, we're open from 9 a.m. until uh, 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, no, Monday through Thursday, and then Thursday and Friday. Uh, I mean, Friday and Saturday, we're open until 8. And then on Sunday we're open till six. Well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope it works out. It will. Hey, any other public comment? Yes, I do. I have actually two questions. Um, I was one of the fire victims here a couple of weeks ago, and um, I'm working with our insurance agency. He's saying that. We need to set up an escrow for the debris removal. Mm -hmm. How does that work? We got two estimates so far, and um, we, 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 the township, we participate in the insurance withholding program as part of public at 495. No, that's awesome. I love yeah. that. And um, basically, what will happen is that they will, in residential, they will issue us a check. It's eight thousand some odd dollars. That's what it is. I think it's eight thousand five hundred. About eight thousand dollars, and that goes into a separate account. It doesn't go into our general fund. It goes into a separate account that's set up for strictly for uh, insurance withholding. And then whoever you hire to have the cleanup done, that person uh, would bring their bill into the township. 
we would go out, or our ordinance officer goes out and then we'll inspect the site and make sure that all the requirements, you know, the wells are capped and the debris is cleaned up, so on and so forth. Yeah, because we're going to be definitely going to be built once the weather breaks. But. Right. Well, once that is done, then we issue a check to the individual who did the cleanup, and then the remaining dollars is issued to the property owner, which would be you. Okay. So. okay. And then I have a second question. Um, we recently got a bill from the fire department for $500. Mm -hmm. um, and my boyfriend's parents also got one for $500. We both have insurance. Now, I'm not saying this to be mean or anything because I love my other neighbors, but they didn't have insurance and they never received a bill. Every, so everyone, everyone who has a fire gets a bill. They haven't received a bill yet, and I, not I was yet. just wondering if you guys yeah. are just no. sending no. bills no. out no. for no. insurance purposes or no. whatnot. No. But no. we might not know where to send it. We've had we've had people come in and, and pay, you know, pay cash. Okay. We've had some people with insurance come in and pay cash because they didn't want to. Sure, but we we've had an ordinance in place for quite some time, and it subsidizes the fire department budget, which. And I have no issues with that. And yeah, so no, every, everybody gets a bill. Okay, that's what I was wondering. And then um, when they were here, the fire department didn't have any respirators on or anything. Is that common practice for the firemen not to have the respirators on? Well, that's the, probably a question for the fire chief. We're, we weren't there. We don't know, you know, you know, we don't know any of those details or circumstances. Yeah, and I, I was basically looking at houses. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I just thought that was kind of odd, having such a hot flame, and the firemen didn't right. have any equipment on, right. as far as respirators. Both well, Wayne and I were on the fire department for over 20 years, and believe me, we use those shop bags. And Moffitt and, uh, Township came to help, and they all came with their respirators, but Mills Township didn't have any respirators on at all. Yeah. And I, I thought said, that was very unusual. I think that's a question probably we'd have to do. That, that was addressed at our last meeting, that when you get out of that fire truck, that's supposed to be the first thing you put on. And None of them had it on. Yeah, that's, what I, them. that's what I heard. Nobody had them on. And the fire chief did get after okay. the fireman about that. that. That's supposed to be one thing that <coughs> you get out of that fire truck, you put that on. Matter of fact, the new fire truck has one built right into the seat. Okay. So as they're going oh, to the fire seat, they can put it on while they're right in the truck. They're supposed to have that on right away. Mm -hmm. And why that didn't happen that night, you know, we don't know. I don't know who operated the truck that night or who was in the you know, seat there, why they didn't yeah, put it there on. Was, I think four trucks there. I think there was, or three trucks. Yeah, it was quite large. Yeah. It was, it's devastating. Yeah. yeah, we had, I know they had the two newest trucks there and then a big tanker was the game out. Mm -hmm. Then they had Prescott and Moffitt. Okay. Yeah, I just. But if you want, I can get you the number of the fire chief. Yes, I would. I would greatly appreciate because I just that concerns me why they. You know, it's hard for us because I, you know, I wasn't there. And, yeah, and, I, and I'm not. I don't want to speculate on what who did and who didn't. Right. So. Can I ask a question? Is that any time? This is first I ever heard that we have a five hundred dollars. Is that just yeah, for house fires? For, no, actually, house fires, vehicle fires, grass fires. Uh, that's been in place for years. Years. Well, where does that money go then? It goes into the fire department fund, operating fund. Yeah, and same Plus, thing like we charge consumers power when they go on down power lines. We use ten bills at consumers power. Plus like the that. money that they get yearly for buying stuff. The money, the money, the the millage does not completely cover the operating expense of the fire department. Mm -hmm. So the, the, it's not subsidized, but it's, it's it's another portion of its income or revenue is from those types of other charges, other services, other charges, mm -hmm. you know, like, like I said. We didn't know that. Yep, there's uh, the same thing, like if you, have a, if you have a grass fire and you yes. call the, the DNR come out, you're going to get a bill from the, D, the DNR as well. Okay. And they charge by truck, by man, and it can get very, very expensive. So if you're out burning leaves and you're found to be responsible, you could have a very sizable bill on your hands. You know. You don't want that. Because they don't, they don't have a problem. No. Okay, sure. Uh, but I know. We, we, we were very diligent about ensuring that everybody is fairly treated and sent out a bill. And uh, uh, we do have like, we have one or two incidents right now that there wasn't enough information on there that we actually had to send back to get more information because we didn't have enough information. Because uh, Judy actually handles that and uh, she brought it to my attention and I already talked to the fire chief and we're going to try to help. But the fire reports are kind of 
they're less than favorable, let me say that, in uh, uh, what we're trying to work on those to, uh, you know, improve on that. The when there's a lift, when he talks about uh, an assist with a lift, lift assist, yes. Do they charge for even for that? Um, actually, I don't even know what that is, but I know he mentions it a lot. I would imagine if they help the ambulance people, right? Right. Correct. The um, yeah. mm -hmm. so I'm the you know, I'm the chairman of the board on the EMS committee, or the, or the authority, and I'm actually in discussion. Uh, to see if it's necessary. Because see, the ambulance, when we have a structure fire, the ambulance comes out and will set a uh, structure fire uh, to be there in, in case there's an injury with the partner or something. And they'll be right there. The Union House Authority doesn't charge uh, the fire departments or the townships for that service. So it's always been kind of a, a back and forth thing. So when they need a lift assist, the fire department will go out and help with the lift assist. And then the fire department wouldn't ask for, uh, you know, wouldn't charge because they're getting in-kind services because the ambulance is there. So if the ambulance started charging for every time it came to one of our things, more, or one of our occurrences, it could be that we would be paying more money to have the ambulance there. So it's it is it, it's good the way it worked out. They had some problems here in the recent future, or recent past, in, uh, uh, but some of that's been resolved. So we may stay with the, the, the status quo, but that's about the only one that's not, uh, it's not an exchange of dollars for services, because they're in-kind services. Yes, I know when I had that fire back in 2000 in front of my house, uh, they sent me a $500 bill and I just forwarded it to the insurance company. Yeah. But the 500 went back in to repair one of their fire trucks because they broke an axle on that road. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's a, unfortunately, fire department is expensive business. Oh, a big pothole. <laughs> <laughs> you need to Any other public comment? Uh, on that note, to um, our neighborhood, because Kathy's my neighbor right across the street, and our neighbors are getting together and doing a spaghetti benefit for both families at the bingo hall here Saturday from 11 to 4.30. We're only going to 4.30 because they got bingo that night. We've got to be out by 5. <laughs> so come for lunch. It's a good meeting. Thank you. I well, I think everybody's looking forward to spring. I know there's a lot of water in the roads and a lot of holes. <laughs> We got to put up with that before we get the green grass. Yeah. Yes. I got some green paint. You can paint that white green. <laughs> oh, thank you, Joe. Oh, 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 my gosh. I like it. I never did a phone call when I went off the last time. I got you. No, honestly, I got you. I'm waiting. 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 I'm wai